Welcome back. Uh, today in this episode, we are going to do the body drop on the 1980s LN40 Hilux mini truck build that I'm doing. So let's take a look at that now. So starting out, I've uh, raised the truck off the ground with some jack stands and set the heights so that once the cab comes down, it'll hit this bad boy here and that'll be the right height at where I want it, which will be flush with the rail. Um, or slightly lower than the rail actually than the chassis rail pulled all the stuff out of the interior cut a little bit of hole a hole of rust out of there uh we also have been put undoing the bolts that hold the radiator in so that's just loose there in the shroud because when the body drops obviously the radiator is going to hit down there on one of the rails and then also I've identified that we may or may not have to cut the bumper support bracket and drop it down lower and also put some relief in this area here which that will interfere with so either cut this or modify this or both. Uh, so also pulled off the passenger side door gonna take that down to get sandblasted in those areas and some bits on the other side panel beat it and then we're going to take a mold of that door i'm um, not going to do the driver's side door because that one is actually not very um like it's, it's rusted down there and it's also not very straight in here somebody's crashed into it and t-boned it so that's what we got so far so the next step is literally just to cut the floors and then to cut across where the seam is through there you can just see it there's a seam so we'll cut all the way through, across the tunnel, other side, and then the cab should just drop down. We'll start off by drilling, uh, unstitching the spot welds on the passenger side rail. Uh, the driver's side one was slightly, it was broken before, so I welded it up. But anyways, we'll unstitch this so that when I do actually cut it, it'll just separate from this part real quick. So let's just use a center punch to dot where the spot welds are, and then we'll drill them out. Using a uh, center punch to um, mark where they are also helps with locating the tip on the um, spot weld uh, drill bit. Just helps it sit there and start better. You can usually use a hammer uh, to basically check or any like a screwdriver or something to check whether or not it's the um, spot weld is broken but you could just see a little crack forming and it gets bigger as I put leverage on the hammer so just about there somewhere I'll use a scriber so just over there you can see the crack getting bigger so if you just give it a light you know put a little bit of pressure on the hammer you'll see it separating from the bottom piece of metal this one up the front here hasn't quite i haven't drilled enough deep enough yet so you just take it slow with the drill and eventually you'll get there and then you can separate them easy another way to tell that you're there is when literally you've got through to the rust so um you can just see there that we've gone through to that rust bit so that's what you want to sort of if you don't see that um, you'll get to this point but um, usually you can sort of like guesstimate how thick the metal is and how deep you've gone and that'll be a good indicator as well to tell you that you haven't drilled through this or you've drilled through the spot too much okay so I just decided to jack the cab up a little bit so I've got blocks all around um, it's raised it up some so that's allowing me to get better access into cutting these out so um, once that's cut out then when we go to remount that bumper um, we'll just shorten it uh, I also removed the uh, steering and the uh, um, gear selection um, that sits in there 
So it'll just make it easier when the cab is actually dropped that I can align the steering wheel and if I have to I'll put um, universal joints at each end for the high misalignment. So I've, I've cut just along the bottom of there and a little bit on this side, I mean that side there. I've done it on both sides and that one too. So all I'm going to do now is just try and uh, basically like work hard in it until it snaps and then break it off and then I'll get a grinder and grind it flat so that when we go to re-weld it it's um it's got a nice prepped uh, like base. If it doesn't work I'm just going to use a hacksaw blade or a hacksaw and just basically try and go through. I don't have a jigsaw here or anything. A plasma cutter would be <laughs> really ideal but again don't have one of those could use either, either one of these three tools to massage it off, but you know, I can just uh, just keep bending it backwards and forwards until it uh, basically snaps off. Or you can keep bashing it. And then uh, use a screwdriver. And eventually it'll, it'll snap. If I end up bending this, I'll just make another one and then, yeah, good to go. Hey, it's not too bad. I can probably just uh, straighten that up. So, uh, we'll, yeah, yeah, I think that's, that's all good, we could, we could put that in the press and straighten it. We're gonna chop pretty much, like, it's gonna be quite a distance up the top that we'll, we'll be using, so, I think, yeah, that'll be fine. Just got the help of the uh, Makita the saber saw just to cut through this bit here. So I'm just going to make up some plates that are going to join basically those together, and the structural integrity is going to be the same, if not better. Um, so it's going to follow that factory line there, and then we'll just cut through, can't really see it, but through that, and then also add extra material in there as well. So it's coming through, almost there with the floor, so you can see the line through there, whole bit of rust that I'm fixing all the way through there, all the way through the back, so the floor is going to be pulled out, and then I'm going to take that, I have to take the, the um, blower unit out of there as well. Uh, so I'm going to take that to Polytech to my school and I'm going to sandblast, I'm going to have it sandblast all underneath. We're going to put the um, stone guard, the under seal on it as well. We'll just leave like 50 mil clearance along the edges so that it can be welded. Um, so that's the next step at the moment. So this side's all chopped through and now that's ready to go up to that point there for the, the body drop. And that's the the difference with the um, the floor. So I'm gonna have to join those together. And we'll just start on the other side there. Okay. Well, I guess this was expected. I ended up ripping off that bar and exposed like all of that, it's all rusty and then it just keeps getting worse but fortunately because we're doing the body drop I needed to go this far anyways and yeah it'd be a good thing to fix it while we're at it 
So yeah, I'm pretty much just gonna end up cutting through here, much like the other side. <laughs> um, fortunately enough, those um, those cab support things there, I'm gonna unstitch them and we are going to sandblast them and where there's a couple of rust spots, we're gonna fill them in with filler. Well, um, but yeah. The saga continues. Well, just been battling <laughs> with the uh, the rust spot that I just found, and it turns out that uh, somebody, I think it belonged to a farmer, and the farmer basically was using like tin or corrugated tin from his shed, and then they brazed parts of it on. So um, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty rough, but um, I'm I'm kind of glad that I started looking for rust because the last thing I really want is to be like halfway through the body drop and then all of a sudden pow there's heaps of rust so yeah, it's it's a good thing that we sorted it we found it now so um let's have a take let's take a look at it so i've just yeah been looking at it um there's some rust in there um what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna just chop a bit of a pipe and cut that shape out and weld it on the end and then basically weld the edges of the pipe to this to rebuild that um, you can i don't know if you can kind of see that but there's basically like bronze um solder on there <sighs> so i think what i'm going to do is basically i'm just going to cut straight across there and this floor should be able to come out like it's almost there, you can see where it's sort of slumping. It's just all these patches that are going to be like scars and trucks, so that's all good. It's, um, it's better that it's like that, and then I can pull it out and fix it, rather than fixing it in place. So it's um, it's 1am, Saturday morning, um, did the final cut, so I'm just going to try and just get this floor out, and I'm going to call it a day, so carry on tomorrow um, and see what we can do all right all right well I've established there that uh, that floor isn't gonna go back in uh that way so we're gonna have to take the tray off and slip it through the back or lift lift the cab up a little bit and slide it through the back way but anyways it's out now so let's take a look at that <laughs> so that's what it looks like with no floor in there so i think i'm gonna cut those out and unstitch those tomorrow i'm fresh in the morning um, yeah, I've probably cut this one, this one a bit too close, because what I'm going to do is, um, rebuild them, but I know where another one of these is, so potentially I could just go and cut it out, and we could stick it in there, but, yeah, that's what it looks like. Might redo that part of the exhaust at some point. Anyways, that's it for tonight. Oh man, it's rusty, but it doesn't want to come out. So I missed that one there on the middle, in the middle. That was the one that <laughs> I was just struggling with just now. But anyways, those are the positions. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Including that one at the bottom there. Um, those are the spot welds you have to drill out to get the front right hand side mount out. So I'm gonna just go do the other side now. I'm going to um, fill all those holes with weld as well and then just grind it flat. So I'm not too phased that they look ugly at the moment.
Got him. Just a little trick. I uh, drilled some holes and I sprayed some uh, uh, what's called copper weld through primer. So that's just sitting. That's just sitting up in there. There's a couple of welds in there. So that'll give it some strength. Um, you know the seats are gonna gonna be getting hammered, um, and it won't tear through through this. But anyways, I'll just weld those up, and it'll be in there solid. Don't have to muck around with anything. So I've just finished welding it. I'm just gonna give it a grind and probably give it paint. And you'll never know that it was ever any other way before this. All done. So if you're this far, <laughs> these are the spot weld points that you would want to drill out if you wanted to get this plate off for any reason. Uh, my reason is because of that dirty bit of cancer there. So I'm just gonna get that off. And there's another plate on the underside that's um, also gonna have to come off. So I will unstitch that and then, yeah, we'll weld this skin, we'll sandblast that other bit and weld in fresh steel where we need to, and then we'll just stitch it all back on, so yeah. Been hanging out to get this off so just had to drill all these little um, spots out so this is finally off look at all that rust rust isn't too bad it's just that bit there that i'm worried about We're gonna weld these up. Uh, that shape's a bit too complex to try and replicate for me at the moment. It could be done, but uh, I'm just gonna do it this way. 